So we'll see now three ratios of special angles and any other angle for the domain between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. So which ones are special angles? Special angles are special angles. These are angles with exact values. We have with exact three ratios. We have exact three ratios. We cannot have decimals on this. Exact three ratios means it cannot be 0 0.4, 0 0.3. So which are the exact three special angles? They are 0 degrees. 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, and their multiples. These are special angles. So once we know this, we can know the other multiples for any angle. So to see Special angle 0, 45, 60, 90, 60, we have to have a diagram here, which is a triangle. Let's see, this is an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle with sides 2, sides 2, and if this was 2, equilateral triangle means if I have a perpendicular line here, I can divide this into 1 and 1, and this is 90 degrees. Since it is equilateral, this is 60 degrees. This is 30 degrees. So, if I want to find x here, x square plus 1 square is 2 square, where x square is equal to 4 minus 1, which is 3. x is square root of 3. Since x is square root of 3, we can find now sine 60 degrees is opposite over hypotenuse which is root 3 over 2 cosine 60 degrees is adjacent which is 1 over 2 and tan 60 is opposite over adjacent which is root 3 over 1 then I go to 30 degrees. Sine 30 degrees is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, which is 1 over 2. Cosine 30 degrees is adjacent root 3 over 2. Tan 30 degrees is 1 over root 3 or we can say root 3 over 3. Now, if we look at this one here, 60 and 30 are complementary. Complementary means the sum is 90 degrees. So, complementary angles like 60 and 30, the sine of 60 is the same as cosine of 30. Sine of 30 is the same as cosine of 60. Sine of 30, which is, is complementary 60, they have the same sine and cosine is the same here. Okay, so if I had 45 degrees now, 45 degrees is not part of this. So 45 degrees, this is 90 degrees, 45 degrees, this is 45. If this is 1, this is 1, 1 square plus 1 square is 1 plus 1 is 2, and the square root of that is square root of 2. So I say sine 45 is 1 over root 2, or I can write it as root 2 over 2. Cosine 45 adjacent over hypotenuse which is 1 over root 2 or root 2 over 2 since they are complementary they have the same sign and cosine 45 plus 45 is 90 tan 45 is opposite over adjacent which is 1 over 1 which is 1 
So we have this 45, 30, 60, 0 degrees and 90. If I use your calculator, we don't know because sine 0 degrees is sine 0 degrees is 0. Its complementary is 90, so cosine 90 must be 0. So cosine of 0 is 1. Sine of 90 degrees is 1. Cosine of 90 degrees is 0. So we can use this to find sine cosine of the multiples of this. So let's continue with this one here with the same concept. As we know, as I'm doing just as help for some students, I'm not doing the whole lesson because you have already idea of cast. Cast is cosine. So here we say cosine only positive. All positive sine positive tan positive so we use this in all of our calculations so, now in order to use cast we have something called it related angle related or you can say related acute angle Related acute angle is an angle which is formed between the x-axis oh, so between the x-axis and the terminal arm. If this is a terminal arm, this is related angle. If this is a terminal arm, this is related angle. This is a terminal arm, this is a related angle. This is related angle. So related angle is formed only with the x-axis, not the y-axis. The y-axis, we have another name, but this is what we need is related acute angle, which is formed between the terminal arm and the x-axis. Okay, so let's say we'd like to find number one, A, we'd like to find sine of 120 degrees sine 120 degrees so now what we say is 120 degrees is in which quadrant is 120 degrees 120 degrees is in the second quadrant here in the second quadrant sine is positive in the second quadrant sine is positive so if sine is positive, positive to what? It means it is the same as the related angle. Related angle here is if this is 120, this will be 60 degrees. So my related angle is 60 degrees. So sine 120 will be the same as sine of 60 because the related angle is 60 degrees. Positive means it is the same as related angle, which is root 3 over if this was cosine 120 degrees cosine in the second quadrant cosine is negative cosine is negative which means that it's opposite to the related angle minus cosine of 60 degrees cosine 60 degrees which is half so minus 1 over 2 if this is tan 120 degrees in the second quadrant tan is negative negative in relation to the acute angle it means it's opposite to the acute angle tan 60 degrees which is minus root 3 Okay, so these are in the second quadrant. The same way, if we go to the second quadrant, let's say, say we are finding a sine of 
210 degrees. 210 degrees is in the third quadrant. This is 210 degrees. What's my related angle? My related angle is 180 plus 30 degrees. Remember, related angle is always with the x-axis. So, 30 degrees is here. So, sine of 30 degrees, sine is cast. This is C A S T. Only tan is positive, therefore, sine must be negative here. So, sine 20, 210 degrees will be negative of sine 30 degrees, which is minus 1 over 2. If I go to cosine of the same angle, cosine of 210 degrees, cosine in the third quadrant is negative, therefore the same way, minus cosine of 30 degrees, minus root 3 over 2. Tan 210 degrees. Tangent is positive in the third quadrant, therefore it will be the same as tan of 30 degrees. And tan of 30 degrees, we know it is root 3, 1 over root 3, or root 3 over 3. Okay, so let's see for the fourth quadrant. Let's find sine of A, sine of 315 degrees. 315 degrees is in the fourth quadrant. This is 315 degrees, so the acute angle will be 45 degrees. Acute angle is always with the x-axis. So sine 35 cast here only cosine is positive. Only cosine is positive, therefore sine is negative in relation to 45 degrees. So this will be minus 1 over root 2 or minus root 2 over 2. Cosine 315 degrees. Cosine is positive, positive in relation to the related angle, which is the same as cosine 45 degrees. So this will be 1 over root 2 or root 2 over 2. Tan 45 degrees. Tangent is negative here, negative in relation to 45. Now, tan 315, sorry. Tan 315 will be negative tan 45 degrees. So 4, negative 1. Okay, now we found these ratios here. Let's see how to find the angles if the domain is between 0 and 360. Okay, find the angles on the domain 0 degrees less than or equal to theta less than or equal to 360 degrees so the domain is in all four quadrants so let's see a equal to sine theta is equal to 0 0.62 how do we decide to find these angles what we say is the first thing sine is positive so i say to myself where is sine positive in the four quadrants sine is positive on the first quadrant and sine is positive on the second quadrant therefore my angles will be this one here and this one here these are my two angles so i have two angles here so i have to find these angles here so i have to find first my related angle my related angle, I find it using the ratio without a, without a negative one. So, 
related angle will be related angle is sine minus 1 of 0 0.62 of 0 0.62 which is approximately 38 degrees so my related angle is 38 degrees 38 degrees 38 degrees so my two answers will be theta 1 is in the first quadrant 38 degrees and my second angle is 180 minus 38 which is this is 180 minus 38 degrees which is 142 degrees so if I am given B Cosine theta is minus 0.48. So here I say, okay, my ratio is negative. It's cosine. Where is cosine? Negative, I say. Cosine is negative in the second quadrant here. And cosine is negative in the third quadrant. So my two angles will be this and this these are the two angles i have this angle and this angle here so i have to find the related angle this is related acute angle this is related acute angle these two i have to find they are the same they are equal i find related acute angle by using 0 for 8 without the negative sign without the negative so related angle is cos minus 1 of 0 0.48 cos minus 1 of 0 0.48 which is approximately 61 degrees so this is 61 this is 61 degrees so now my first angle will be 180 minus 61 because it's second quadrant which is 108 19 degrees okay so my second angle is in the third quadrant which is 180 plus 61 which is 241 degrees so we have done sine cosine they're all similar but let's for the sake of doing let's do them all if I'm given tan theta is 1.24 the first thing I do is I check my cast where is this angle here where are these angles the ratio is positive therefore tan is positive in the first quadrant tan is positive in the third quadrant so these are my acute angles I have to find my acute angles this is my first angle this is my second angle so I find the acute angle it's already positive therefore there's no problem related angle will be tan minus 1 of 1.24 which is 51 degrees my acute angle is 51 degrees therefore my first angle will be it is in the first quadrant therefore it's 51 degrees my second angle is in the third quadrant which is 180 plus 51 degrees which is 200 this is 51 or uh, 041 then 231 degrees okay so these are all they're not special angles, but I can use this one for any angle, whether it's special or not. Let's see if this was part of special angle. If I have sine theta equal to root 3 over 2, still the domain is the same. So I say root 3 over 2, I have to know it, it's special angle. This special angle is sine of which angle? Sine of 60. So sine is positive here sine is positive here and know the acute angle is 60 because it's special angle 60 degrees 
60 degrees. Therefore, my first angle is 60 degrees, which is here. My second angle is in the second quadrant. The second quadrant, my angle is always 180 minus 60, which is 120 degrees. So from what we have seen so far, to conclude this one here, to find angles always we see this is these are always the angles. The angles here are in the second quadrant is always 180 minus theta, where theta is my acute angle. This is always 180 plus theta, where theta is, this is my theta, this is my theta here, this is always 360 minus theta, where theta is here. Theta is my related angle, related angle is always between the x-axis and that, so 360 minus theta.